New day starts with new room and it's time to get dirty. Hey what's up everyone this is Nash and in this video I will be reviewing Dirty Unicorn's room for my OnePlus One. And this is Dirty Unicorn's Hypo version 11.5. It is based on latest Android 7.1.2. I don't know why but nowadays all the rooms are not rooted. So you will have to flash Super SU or Magisk Manager if you want to root this room. Now let's talk about features and customization. All the features are packed in one tab called Dirty Tweaks and all the features are organized in different tabs so you can just swipe right or left and find any particular feature. In the Dirty Tweaks you will find status bar customization in that you can customize your battery icon, you can reposition the clock or you can put Dirty Unicorns icon on the status bar. Another amazing feature I found is Wake Lock Blocker. Using that feature, you can actually block system wake locks that will save you lots of battery. Moving on, we have a custom screenshot. You can drag the selection and take a custom screenshot. And also not to forget, there is lock screen customization. As you can see, there is no clock, there is no date. My lock screen just looks simple and clean. And my favorite feature is Omni Switch. This is lot cleaner recent menu with lots of functionality. Definitely more useful and productive than the stock recent menu. And by default the stock music app is Sony's music app. And along with that music app you get the equalizer app too where you can tweak your audio in the speaker mode or in the headphone mode. Now let's talk about camera. The camera you get in this room is Snapdragon camera. With lots of manual setting, it can shoot in 4K UHD and also slow motion in 120fps. Have a look at some photos I took with this camera. So that was features and customization, now let's talk about the stability. The room is super smooth, no air force flows and no random reboot. The Wi-Fi is working properly and there is no problem in mobile signals too. You can play any game and phone doesn't overheat. The RAM management of the room is outstanding. This room can be a good alternative to Resurrection Remix and in terms of stability you can always trust this room. And now it's time to discuss the battery life. With my normal usage that includes YouTube videos, WhatsApp, Google Plus and Facebook, I got 4.5 hours of screen on time. And the standby time is also great because it has system backlog blocker inside. So can you really trust this room? Is this worth daily driver? Well it's definitely daily driver. It has all the customization and features you need and it is stable AF. And that's why I'm going to give this room 4.5 out of 5. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel. This is Nash and I will see you next time. It's all you ever talk about, it's all you ever talk about.